Number nine in my top 10 tips for shooting better video will help you avoid the shakes. Hi, I'm Grant and tip number nine is use a tripod and get off your tripod. Tripods are the original video stabilizing tool and a tripod should be an essential part of your video shooting kit. Knowing when to use a tripod and when to get off the tripod will add professional polish to your video shooting repertoire. To me, tripods serve four obvious functions and four not so obvious functions. The obvious functions. Number one, to stabilize shaky footage and make it more watchable and not to give you as the viewer motion sickness. Number two, they allow you to perform smooth pan and tilts, which is not easily achievable if you're just hand holding the camera. Number three, they allow you to use telephoto lenses or lenses with long focal lengths like 80 millimeters and above, which are generally not usable if you're just hand holding the camera. And number four, the tripod takes the weight of the camera for longer shooting durations. Now the not so obvious benefits of using a tripod. Number one, a tripod also helps immerse you as a viewer in the scene and you are not aware of the camera or movement. As opposed to if someone is shooting handheld, you become aware of camera movement and obviously a camera person holding the camera. Number two, a tripod allows you to keep your distance from the subject by using a zoom lens, which I mentioned earlier. Number three, another not so obvious benefit of a tripod is that it forces you to think about your shots in more detail, for example, where you're gonna place the tripod or how high the tripod is, or perhaps is there a pan and tilt involved and a tripod forces you to think about your shot. And number four, this one is not so obvious, but in this day and age of compressing video for delivery on the web, stable footage compresses much better and looks much better than shaky footage. So to the second part of tip number nine, know when to get off your tripod. I've often seen newbie video shooters and they are using the tripod for every single shot, which is great, but this can become, or this can be at the expense of capturing action because it can be slow and cumbersome to move and relocate your tripod, or worse still, stay in one position on your tripod. My main advice for knowing when to come off the tripod is by knowing beforehand what or how the footage is going to be edited. For example, if it's going to be cut quickly and it's a lot of action, then you can get away with hand holding a lot of your shots. As opposed to traditional scenic shots or interviews, then they are gonna be more than likely on a tripod. A common way I will shoot a scene is I will use my tripod for my wide shots, for my scenic shots and for interviews, but then I will come off the tripod and get in close for action and cutaways. So that's tip number nine, use a tripod but don't get stuck on it. With practice you'll soon develop the confidence to know when to use your tripod and when it's time to hop off your tripod. Tip number 10 coming very soon and as always, thanks for watching.